Let's get started, shall we? All right, so welcome back to the channel. Um, if you want to find out more about the Mortal Realms and what's going on, then please do click that subscribe button. Also, all my social media links are in the description below and there are tons of groups um, who follow this plus the conquest magazine and other things they're all friendly and open so definitely go check them out also final plug this thursday which is tomorrow um as of recording this uh so thursday the 9th of january at 8 p.m check out chilling war gamers um i'll put a link in the uh, comments below uh we're doing a live stream it's called the big fat war gamers quiz of the year it's gonna have a few big names, um, YouTubers who do plenty of content for Terrain, for Warhammer 40,000, for Age of Sigma, uh, for battle games in Middle Earth, um, and it's it's hosted by uh, some cracking people as well. So definitely go check that out. It's gonna be a laugh, um, and I'll definitely put the link in the comments below. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So, um, I've broken it down to the components so we can check it all out bit by bit. Um, and we'll start with the back. It's a massive spread here. Um, it shows you what you get in the first four issues. Though I've covered this in the previous episode, so I'll, I'll put a link up there. Um, so you can check out what you get in the first 11 issues and uh, the value of that as well. Um, and yeah, uh, the only difference is issue two is now five ninety nine, not four ninety nine. Um, so we we'll have to just take that into consideration. But it's a pound difference; it's not too much. Um, also, we found out that the uh, premium subscription is now going to be two pound rather than a pound fifty, which I put in this video. It'll be linked there. Um, so the savings are still substantial. It's. Um, Instead of £120 extra, you'll be paying £160 extra. Um, but you'll still be making a saving of £160-odd on the four mini-armies that you'll get in those premium boxes. And we don't know if you're going to get additional stuff in there as well. We just know you're going to get models, uh, a couple of paints, um, some building guides and some rules on how to play them and stuff. So definitely check that video out. Let's get to this. Right, so I can throw this away now. I'm done with that. Uh, be aware, this stuff is super, super sticky, so don't get near your issues, otherwise it'll tear them up. Right, so what do we get? Uh, initially, we have our range ruler. It's measured in inches. Very cool. We don't have the uh, paper one that we started with in the Conquest series, so that's a good start. Definitely earning that extra bit of money that this costs. All right, you get your six dice. They're just standard dice. Um, you get ten of these bases as well. These are for your uh, chain rests um, because the Stormcast chaps have their own. As you can see, it's already uh, comes in coloured plastic of gold, um, and this is, I believe, from the uh, um, the smaller of the beginner boxes, uh, Stormstrike, I think it's called. Um, so yeah, it's ready to play. You could just pop them out. Um, I would suggest getting yourself some clippers if you don't have any already. Um, the reasonably price you can get them from Pound Shop just to do you uh, if you're subscribing um, to the series. And, and if you do subscribe, your first um, uh, set, uh, your first gift will include clippers and glue and stuff. Um, but none of this needs gluing at the moment. It's all push fit which means that these pins go straight into the holes and as long as you follow the numbers you'll do alright so I'll cover that building bit later here are your chain rasps uh, again there's some multi uh, pied parts um, but yeah that's really cool I do like these alright before we get into the issue itself here you go look at that £2 extra so it will make all your regular issues come up to 9 
Okay, deliver to your door. Issue two, issue three, and the modeling kit. Okay. I've got an email that says that I'll get issue one and two for free, plus um, the modeling kit, and then I'll be given issue three onwards from there on, because uh, I subscribed to the trial successfully. So, yeah, we'll only tell. Time will only tell. So, there we go. So if you subscribe now, you'll get issue three for free when you subscribe from issue two, which gives you a good saving because that's 7 dollars saved. Uh, the modeling kit is worth it. Those clippers, they do last the entire series without breaking. They will eventually break because this little bit here doesn't last too long. But I had one of these for a few years before it broke and I was back um, with the part works for Lord of the Rings years ago. Uh, plastic glue, which you'll need later on after all the push fit stuff is done, and this mold line remover, which is very fiddly because it's only this big, but it's really handy for filling in gaps and stuff like that and getting rid of those mold lines. These paint brushes are essential as well. So if you're gonna do this, it is well worth going up until the seventh delivery and then you can cancel and go to your local shop and get it delivered through them. There is some reliability issues with that, but um, Hatchet have changed the uh, warehouse. They've upgraded to have more space because that was a massive problem when Conquest was released. They didn't ant anticipate the, um, they didn't anticipate uh, how successful it was going to be. So they kept running out of stock. Um, so they've moved warehouse, they got a new customer service provider as well, so they're on their game right now. What's this? Make sure you don't miss out. So this is to give to your news agent. Free poster inside. Welcome to the Mortal Realms. Welcome to Warhammer Age of Sigma Mortal Realms and the thrilling hobby of tabletop wargaming. This is your gateway into Mortal Realms, where the mighty armies of order, chaos, destruction, and death clash across war-torn lands. You'll collect, build, and paint armies of incredible miniatures to recreate the brutal wars of the Age of Sigma in exciting tabletop games. Cool. Hey, subscribe gifts. Premium sub, as I said, it it's just money saved, and it actually it makes the whole collection a lot uh, better for value. Right, what have we got here? Uh, so collect, build, paint and play. So you should know what that means. They'll give you all the fluff, all the information about the Mortal Realms. Uh, they'll show you how to build it, they'll show you how to paint it, they'll show you how to play. Building won't be all at once. and uh, the Painting won't all be at once. It'll be stretched across different issues. Um, that's to build up your confidence. So getting you used to basing your models um, doing the base coats, doing the layering, the shading, and so on and so forth. And then when you get to the final issues of the uh, series, you'll be doing the more delicate stuff like highlights and stuff like that. So it's all practice, really. Here is the collection. Now we get a proper look at this now. Nope, there she is. Leaf Black Talent is in the subscription. Right there. There you go, Faux Hammer. Take that one to the bank. You got that right. <laughs> There's the executioner there, but you got, um, I don't think we listed it, but uh, the jailer, he's there with his two pals there. Um, so we'll have to list that on the price breakdown. So don't think that was included. Whew, okay, that's cool. Bruh. There we go. See, now, when Age of Sigma started, the art was so clean, so pristine, and that was to represent how clean and pristine the Stormcast Eternals were. They were brand new, they've been just created and released by Sigma into the Mortal Realms. Now, Aeons have passed. They've been, uh, you know, killed, reforged repeatedly. They're starting to, you know, show flaws. They're bloodied as well. So those who that don't get killed and don't end up getting zapped back to Zir to get reforged are looking really 
grimy and battered and here you can see that that's just amazing love that that's going on the wall okay we got our combat table so this is just to get an idea of how we're playing so the storm castle set up here um the night horn over here and you just learn how to fight it out you got a plane side as well for later on so i'm guessing you can put the um battlefields together this was loose at the back now i thought maybe it was in the um coming out the issue but it's like a little extra which is cool war in the underworld so there's a little bit on there the hatred that lingers between nagash and sigma has been festering for aeons on more than one occasion the two have been allies but betrayals and insults have soured their relationship now this rivalry has erupted into all-out war. The armies of Sigma and Nagash gather in ever greater forces to do battle. Now, a quick bit of history that you'll learn in the future issues is that Sigma and Nagash have teamed up many times to defeat the forces of Chaos because they both hate Chaos. Um, but since um, the times of Legends, which is you know the beginning of Age Sigma, they've been on and off. And before that, in the old world, um, Sigma actually smashed the heck out of Nagash with his hammer. So when they, you know, when Sigma was still a mortal and Nagash was still a mortal. So yeah, uh, we got a bit on Sigma himself. Of all the mortals, many gods, Sigma, the god king, is the first and the greatest. From the heavenly realm of the seer, he observes the mortal realms, sending his armies where they are needed most, and attempting to restore unity and order amidst an endless tide of chaos and war. So he was a mortal and then somehow he ascended into godhood. Not know quite how he did that, but it happened. Then you have Nagash who always fought for godhood, and in the end times he managed to achieve it. Um, so, Nagash is an incredibly ancient being. During the course of his existence, he has risen from mortal to god of the dead. He has cast down countless empires and used his dark magic to raise their dead to join his ever-growing legions of murderous undead terrors. Nice! And then in here... Shaish. It is pronounced Shaish, I'm not just... Um, saying it to be silly in the latest issue of um, the Warhammer magazine uh, White Dwarf they had an article on some of the uh, pronunciations uh, especially the mortal realms as they have quite strange spellings like Shaish so this is a really cool little map here um, and of course it's got numbers for the places of interest you've got the glittering marshes assassin's rest hangman's wood sounds awesome halost desert of bones endless boneyard mute island necros uh castinia czar czar Vixer, lake lethis and shade spire shade spire is an interesting place because this is where um, the first of the Warhammer Underworlds um, season started. It was started in Shadespire and then moved on to other things. So, yeah, that's really cool. Um, I did want to make a joke about Hangman's new uh, Hangman's Wood being a great place to hang out at. I know, right? A mute island sounded like a hoot. But yeah. I don't know whether to keep that in or not. Anyway, the Great Inversion, thanks to the Great Quake caused by Nagash's uh, magical experiments, the Prime Innerlands have been drawn permanently towards the Shaish Nadir at the centre of the realm. This slice here is just a slice of the realm there. So this is the entirety of the realm of Shaish. Um, it's not globular, it's plane and different realms come in different shapes and sizes but essentially um, this would be leading towards it um, you should also note that uh, with the realms um, they're 
they're just dripping with magic and you're supposed to be safer closer to the center of the realm you are it becomes closer to normality so you can farm you can eke out a living that you got blue skies and stuff but the further out you go the more it becomes saturated in the magic of that realm and the more it starts to represent that um, so for example the realm of fire it's pretty cool in the middle you go further out you've got flaming trees that just live you know and stuff like that um, and the realm of metal again you've got like crystalline fauna all sorts so it's all very interesting stuff so we already got tons of stuff for our first issue so it's already made its money for 2 dollars Let's have a look here you get all your contents labeled at the bottom here so if you ever feel like something's missing just refer to the bottom left corner and it will tell you what's there essentially so here it says contents 13 plastic miniatures it's the 10 micro uh, 10 chain rasps and the three sequitors all right let's have a look inside mm -hmm. right so age of sigma you got history then you got Stormcast Eternals, um, you have Sequitors, you have Nighthorn, you have Chain Rasps, uh, how to build them, how to paint them, um, but you won't have the paints just yet, unless you already do, in which case you can crack on, but you won't get them until issue two and three. The Eve of Battle, so a little playthrough, so you build them and you can start playing them straight away because they're color coded plastic anyway and Shaiish map package with this magazine is beautiful fold out map of Shaiish with information about Sigma and the gash on the reverse side so that was that then so they already planned for it but they didn't put it actually in the issue okay the age of Sigma the God King Sigma has returned his dawn cast pour forth to remove the taint of chaos from all eight of the mortal realms though his forces have had many great victories the war is far from one for sigma has many enemies okay so got a little bit of history on there and uh, got a bit about the fight against chaos the dark gods of chaos use their mortal followers to spread death and destruction sigma's stormcast eternals were created to stop them a lovely spread there for all the Stormcast Eternals here and all the new stuff that's been released um, in the Soul Wars box as well. Um, even got a couple of uh, endless spells thrown in there as well. And then you've got Archaeon, the uh, Ever Chosen, and his Farum Guard and some demons. It's really cool. And then we've got a bit on Stormcast Eternals. The shining warriors of the Stormcast Eternals strike on bolts of lightning hurled by the God King Sigma himself. No foe can withstand their might, and their victories are many. So, uh, yeah, got a bit on them. Uh, each Stormcast Eternal is armoured in Sigmarite, a magical living metal mined from Malus in Azir. Armour crafted from this metal can resist blows from even the sharpest blade. Their weapons are also made from this wondrous metal, and any who feel their touch will meet a swift death. Cool. And a little bit on storm hosts as well, so kind of like uh, chapters for space marines, um, if you're familiar with Warhammer 40,000. So the Stormcast Eternals are organized into storm hosts. The exact number of storm hosts is a mystery to all but Sigma himself. But all of them have their own unique name and heraldry. Each storm host is made up of between five and ten thousand warriors, and each is a mighty army in its own right. Perhaps most famous of the storm hosts are the golden armored hammers of Sigma, who were the first storm host to be created by the God King, and the first to be thrown in. So if you're around for the start of Age of Sigma, the first um starter set had uh, Vandus Hammerhole leading uh, the first lot of the uh, Hammerers of Sigma <laughs> against a, a Corn Chaos Warlord called Kool uh, leading um, his Blood Warriors and stuff 
Alright, some information on sequitors. So sequitors are stone warriors schooled in the magical arts. They channel the power of the storm through the magical weapons given to them by Sigma, unleashing it with each swinging strike. So they can't cast spells like true mages, having only received basic training in the art of magic. To most mortals, however, they appear to be supernatural and awe-inspiring. They tower over people, they are sent to defend, and each of them has the strength of several mortals. So, you know, their weapons are imbued with uh, some magic to help combat the forces of death. And, yeah, that was basically what they were designed for. Let's have a look at their war gear. Plume and Crest. The colour of and design of the Stormcast Eternals Plume and Crest lets his allies know which unit of warriors he belongs to, even in the heat of battle. Enchanted robes, sequitors are called upon to fight enemies who possess magical powers. Their robes are blessed by Sigma himself, protecting the warrior beneath from all manner of deadly curses and hexes. Spirit Flask Sequitors often carry glass spirit flask. When shattered, these flasks release magical energy that can be used to heal allies or damage the sequitors' enemies. Consecrated Pendant That's this one here. Sigma's warriors often carry these pendants which help to protect them from harm. And then the Storm Smite Great Mace, which is this massive double-handed weapon that he's holding. This mighty weapon can crush enemies with its incredibly powerful strikes. So yeah, fully geared to smash some heads in, essentially. Right, the Night Haunt gets some love here as well. So, raised from the dead by Nagash's magical experiments, the Night Haunt have burst forth from Graven Barrow. Their ice-cold claws and scything blades have already carved a path of, dead, of death and terror across the mortal realms. Lovely. So it's a little bit on here as well. Another scene here between the Stormcast Eternals and the Night Haunt with Lady Olinda leading them into battle. Got Black Coach back there. Um, got the Silent King up there. And yeah, there's another special character there. The Executioner. It's all very cool. Right, so Night Haunt processions. Night Haunt armies are called processions. These processions emit a wave of terror that erodes the will of their enemies until they are frozen by fear. Very grim. The chain rasps are the most numerous of these of the spirits that make up Night Haunt processions. These bitter ghosts are created from the souls of the most vicious prisoners to have ever lived. In the mortal realms. In death they wear the chains that bound them in life. Howling in misery and anger as they drag their bonds, they are held together only by their hatred for those who still live. Nice. Oh, so they've actually given them names. <laughs> That's cool. Right, so we got Kref Solvoid. Kref is was once a soldier who murdered his commander in return for riches, only to die in chains. In death, he is eager to unleash his chain rasp followers upon the living. Gallogast. Gallogast's mortal life has been lost to the mists of time, but his deeds as a vengeful spirit are well known. A thousand mortals have fell, fallen to his pitted rusted blade. The Graves Maiden. The guys known as the Graves Maiden was once a tomb robber and cutthroat. Her flailing chains and rusting restraints rattled to the soul-chilling sound of her tortured wails. And Yorick the Wicked. Yorick's life as a bandit ended in the dank depths of a forgotten dungeon. Death provided no release from his torment, for his chains are as heavy as they were in life. Nice. That's a very interesting bit of fluff that they've made up there. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then we move on to how to build. So again, really simple. If you subscribe, you'll get the clippers in your first delivery, and it is well worth doing. It saves you a few bob. Um, otherwise, you can get them from Games Workshop, any hobby store, um, freelance gamers stores, or 
from the pound shop, you know, anything will do really just to get them put together. But don't, for the love of God, don't try and force them out of the sprues with your fingers because you'll just damage the models. Right, so here's the building bit, and of course, the chair. These, some of them are easy enough, and uh, some have multiple parts to do, and that's that. And how to paint, so you're not painting just yet because you ain't got any paints or brushes, but you will get some paints from issue 2 and onwards, so you'll start painting there. Then you have the Eve of Battle Rule, so Warhammer Age of Sigma is a tabletop war game for two players, each of whom act as the general for an army of citadel miniatures, commanding their collection of models in battles against their friends. Have we give, uh, here we give an overview of how fun gaming can be to get you ready for your first game. So this is another aspect of the uh, hobby, you don't have to do it, but it is uh, encouraged because it's a load of fun. So here, what will you need? So you'll need the map, the models, the ruler and the dice, um, a little bit on the uh, scenario as well and then it will show you how to do it so uh, you have this is going straight into the fight scene because you're too close to move or shoot or do anything like that don't have any shooting weapons anyway so you start with the attack phase so you do a pile in which is a uh, three inch move towards the nearest enemy models you then do your attacks and then the enemy get to retaliate so they get to do their piling you got a bit on subscribing here and then you have an overview of what's to come so issue two read about the night hall play the new game and uh, you get your first paint which is Corax white which you'll need for the ghosties and a starter brush and then issue three Stormcast reinforcements, read about Stormcast Eternals, and then you get your first base colour for these chaps, so you'll get to paint all of them up as well. So there you have it. That is that. I know it was a long video, but there was so much stuff going on in this, and uh, yeah, the models alone make it worth it. There is a chance that people will buy too many of these though and then some shops will run out so subscribing is a way of making sure you get it and of course if you subscribe you'll get those free gifts um and you know sod the scalpers don't bother with ebay if you are um looking to start this collection or have a look at forbidden planet because they do supply it and if you order so many, each issue will be slightly discounted. And then the uh, postage and packaging is uh, capped at X amount. So if you bulk order as many as you can in each order, it'll take a little while to get those issues. But once they have those issues, they'll send them out to you and um, you'll save a bit of money that way because the, uh, the discount will cover your postage or packaging so well off doing that thanks again for tuning in i'll try and get issue two when that's released as well but um until then i need to finish my conquest videos and boy am i far behind so until then peace <laughs>